Carl here from Games, Brains and a Headbang Life. GBHBell.com for shop. It's Christmas horror movie review time. From writer-director Mike Lombardo comes the minimalistic and miserable festive horror I'm Dreaming of a White Doomsday. A film that stars Hope Bickle, Reeve Blasi and Damien Maffei. The story takes place after an unknown apocalyptic event and focuses on a woman named Kelly and her eight-year-old son, Riley. They're surviving in a bunker, but facing the real prospect of running out of supplies soon. This would mean venturing out into the icy and isolated landscape where dangers lurk around every single corner, seemingly. Something already attempted, as we see in the movies that goes on, by Simon, Kelly's husband and Riley's father, who went out and never returned. What caused the end of the world? I'm Dreaming of a White Doomsday plays it coy and chooses to drop hints throughout rather than say outright what happened. This and many other elements were likely more to like a budgetary issue, but it doesn't harm the overall gloomy intention of heavy plot. Alongside the depressive tone, Lombardo manages to give this horror a sharp, festive feel too. Done through flashbacks, dreams, the location outside, the bunker, and a delightfully dark finale. What spoiler for you? It's a movie you watch with a troubled look on your face, waiting for a ray of sunshine to peek through the clouds, but it never quite does. It's a slow burn of a movie, and that is reflected in its 71 minute runtime. Yet, it does hold your attention, considering almost all the focus is on two characters and in one location, the film could have easily slipped into the doldrums, but it holds firm for the most part. A major part of that coming from the good acting and good dynamic between mother and son. They're convincing, and as things begin to look bleaker, they react accordingly to the horror that they're facing. that being said though there is room for improvement a few more details about the outside world a more notable threat a deeper backstory and elaboration on why simon never returned stuff that i think could have been added and would have given a little bit more meat to the bones of the story though i feel wrong for almost complaining about that because it's such a satisfying watch it's a very impressive film because it is so minimal and micro budget stretched to incredible levels and a great cast it's one of the more miserable christmas themed horror movies you may ever see but you won't be forgetting it anytime soon Merry Christmas. Thank you very much for watching. If you liked what you saw, please help us out by giving us a thumbs up and hitting that subscribe button. If you really liked what you saw, consider donating to keep the website and channel running by buying us a coffee via our coffee page or picking up some merch from our big cartel store. You can check us out on gbhbell.com as well as via our social media, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, as well as listen to our interviews via SoundCloud, Apple Music, and Spotify. Just search for GBHBL games, horror and heavy metal. What else is life for?